not to toot my own horn, but if there's one thing I'm really good at, it's manifesting. I've put a lot of thought into how I manifest and really boiling it down to 10 different tips and methods that you can implement ASAP. First, I'll begin with what I call macro tips, so like big perspective tips, and then share micro habits that have helped me so much. Now, I've manifested many things without doing all these tips, but I've also manifested really big things by doing all of these tips, so don't overthink it is, is my point. Also, I think everybody has their own way of manifesting, they have their own style, this is just mine. So getting into it, I first gotta set the stage. For you to be good at manifesting, you have got to understand, or at least appreciate the power of your subconscious. It should not be underestimated. One major tip that complements knowing the power of the subconscious is to take inventory of your life. And I mean everything. The common phrases you say, the people you surround yourself with, where you're spending your time, how the things you're doing is affecting your mood and sense of self, taking inventory of your life. So something I learned from Marissa Peer is that your mind takes things very literally. Everything you say, you've got to think of how your mind can be taking that literally. Phrases like FML or oh my gosh, kill me. Those are things you don't want to say. I have a dear friend, she has the habit of saying, oh my gosh, kill me. And it always seems like there's these crazy dramatic events happening to her. Praise the Lord, she's still alive and well, but I wondered if her saying those things contributes to those dramatic things happening to her. So what's getting in the way for you and the things you want and the life you want? Yes, something as simple as phrases can certainly have an impact. Also, if you're surrounding yourself with friends that bring you down you're, and you're choosing to spend time with friends that don't take interest in what you have going on, what are you saying about your sense of self by choosing to spend time with them? I think this is something that deserves a lot of attention. Have you heard the adage that the top five people you surround yourself with are the people you become? I think that carries a lot of weight. If you have friends that are constantly talking about themselves or you feel lower after hanging out with them or they provide you no value, may want to decide if you want to be investing in that friendship. I know that seems kind of harsh, but it's your life. And one of the things I've done, I've let go of some of those friendships that aren't serving me. All right, that was a big one. Understanding the power of the subconscious and taking inventory of your life. The common phrases you say and the people you spend time with because that contributes to the messages you're sending your subconscious. The second tip is to be patient on what you're manifesting. Not be overly attached to the outcome. It's like dating. If you're desperate to meet someone, and I think maybe we've all been in this situation, if you're like really eager to date somebody and you feel really lonely and you're really just trying to force something it doesn't work but when you're in a good space and you're really not concerned with dating somebody that's when it's very easy or that's when often people find a great relationship but if you're desperate to meet someone suddenly it becomes so difficult the third tip is to become aware of your belief systems and to challenge them so if we're using the example of finding say a certain type of used car. You may find yourself falling into the belief system of used cars are in, in such high demand right now, they're impossible to find. There's a saying, what you seek you shall find. So if you go out in the world with this kind of belief system that there's no, there's a low inventory of used cars, the universe is likely to reflect that back. Instead, you may challenge that type of belief system and think there's plenty of people out there looking to upgrade their vehicles. Surely they have a used vehicle they're looking to trade in. Maybe I change my approach. Maintain the course even when what's showing up does not support what you want. This is being stubborn in your belief systems that serve you. If say you thought a relationship was gonna work out or you thought you found the vehicle you're looking for, and it doesn't pan out for you, to take the mindset that this is happening for you, not to you. That because this thing fell off, that there's something even greater in store for you. To take that mindset helps you to be patient and diligent in staying the course. Another tip is just to get familiar with the possibility of what you want. Get familiar with it so that it doesn't feel so foreign. When I was looking for my dream job, I was making $27,000 a year. 
I gave the affirmation that I made $70,000 a year. I would just get very familiar with that possibility. I knew that there were plenty of people my age that had these great paying jobs and I could do the same. And lo and behold, I found this dream job that gave me just that. Now the salary was set out to be $50,000, but given the bonuses and the successful year we had, I ended up making $70,000. So even though it showed up that the job was making $50,000, I stayed the course and it ended up being that it did end up paying $70,000, which is amazing. Be good with either outcome. What happens if you don't find that car you've been looking for? What happens if you find yourself single for another two years? What can be the upside of that? By being okay with that and accepting that and finding the upside of it, it helps you to be more patient and more accepting in the process. Maybe if I'm single for another two years, I'll be in a much better situation. I'll have more time to understand myself, enjoy more time with my friends, and make the most of it. That takes away that pressure and that is so important when it comes to manifesting. So those are the big macro tips. Now let's get into the micro things that you can do on a daily basis. I haven't done this in a while and I really should, is the process of acting as if I manifested that thing when I was in a really good mood. Oftentimes I would do this when I was driving in my car, I was jamming out to good music, I was in a good mood, and I would affirm what it was I was manifesting. In one case, it was that dream job, and I would affirm, I make $70,000 a year, I have a company car, I love my job, I make $70,000 a year, I have a company car, I love my job, and I would just act as if and get really excited about it. I think it was the process of really getting familiar with it and especially when I was in a good mood that allowed me to be more comfortable with the possibility and believe in it. Another micro habit I've adopted and I continue to do is update a password or passwords with that thing that I'm looking to manifest. So it could be dream job or falling in love or it could be, I love my job or anything, you know, followed by some special characters and numbers. And the reason why I think that works so much is because we use passwords all the time that after a while, it using the password of something you want to manifest, it kind of destigmatizes it. It just allows it to be in the background and kind of program into your subconscious. I highly recommend that you adopt the update your passwords to something you want to manifest. This next tip is something that's easy to forget, but it's very powerful. And that's talking to your guide, whether that is God or, or a loved one that's passed on or your guardian angels or whatever you believe. Connect with them, talk to them, count on them to guide you. Follow your gut, follow your intuition, follow your instinct, whatever you wanna call it, the more you use it, the more powerful of a muscle it is. To be magnetic program refers to this as pings. So you wanna to listen to your pings and get really good at it. And then the last tip, which I think is very powerful, as I'm saying all of these are powerful, is using guided meditation or guided hypnosis. This is something that To Be Magnetic does really well. They have a huge library of them. But if you're not a member of To Be Magnetic, there's plenty of free ones on YouTube. So those are all my tips. I'm sure I could go on and on and on. But as you know, I like to give a rundown. Would love to know what helps you to manifest. Please be sure to comment. And I so appreciate you watching, subscribing, liking. It really does make a huge difference. Thank you so much. And until next time.